So what is the ISO 9001? The ISO 9001 contains all the requirements which an organisation must address within the quality management system if they wish to be certified against the standard. A majority of these requirements would be identified by many people as common sense topics which they would want if they want to run a successful business. These include the sales, design, purchasing, training, collaboration and testing equipment as well as the control of records. The ISO 9001 is written by a committee and is designed for use in any type of organisation. This means that there are compromises in the wording standard and some interpretation is often needed. But there are eight sections of the ISO 9001. The eight sections of the ISO 9001 are scope, reference, terms and definitions, quality management system, management responsibility, resource management, product realisation, measurements, analysis and improvement. The ISO 9001 Keys to Success In sections 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, which contain requirements themselves and organisations wishing to be certified against the 9001, will need to demonstrate they have addressed all of these requirements. There are over 250 individual requirements in the ISO 9001 and these can be condensed into five key statements. 1. Determine the needs and expectations of the customer. 2. Establish policies, objectives and work environment necessary to motivate people to satisfy these needs. 3. Design, resource and manage a system interrelated processes to implement the policy and attain the objective. 4. Measure and analyse the effectiveness of each process in fulfilling its objectives. 5. Pursue the continual improvement of the system from an objective evaluation of its performance. The ISO 9001-2008 Approval ISO 9001 registration gives an organisation a benefit, an objectively evaluated enforced quality management system. It is a tangible expression of an organisation's commitment to quality, and this is internationally understood and accepted. The ISO 9001 registration is carried out by certified bodies, registrars, accredited organisations that review a company's quality manual and working practices to ensure they meet the standard. It's important when an organisation is certified to ISO 9001, it is clear which aspects of the organisation are covered by the certificate. This is addressed through the scope of registration and must clearly identify what is included and what is not, so as not to mislead. It's a requirement that all elements of the ISO 9001 must be addressed by the organisation. However, there are specific circumstances under which certain requirements of the standard can be excluded, yet compliance with the ISO 9001 can still be claimed. Any excluded requirement does not affect the ability for an organisation to meet a customer and the regulation requirements. Any excluded requirement does not affect the ability of an organisation to provide conforming product or service. Any excluded requirement must come from Section 7, the product realisation of the ISO 9001. An example might be a customer property. Clearly, if a company never deals with such a property, then this requirement would not be applicable. The company's quality manual must also clearly identify which specific requirements of the ISO 9001 have been excluded and the justification for exclusion. So now we've covered what the ISO 9001 is, but what we also need to do is know what it isn't. The ISO 9001 is not a product standard, it contains no product requirements. It's a series of generic requirements for quality management systems. Approval to the ISO 9001 does not guarantee product or service quality, customer-focused leadership, not standards produce satisfied customers. 
Approval to the ISO 9001 demonstrates a company meets the minimum requirements for quality management.